Hello folks. In this lecture, we are going to talk about transmission control protocol three-way handshake. The TCP protocol requires that we establish a connection between two devices before they can send data between them. Now the way that TCP does this is through a process that is known as the three-way handshake. And the way that this work is used, we use the SYN bit and the ACK bit inside the header to communicate between the two devices where we are at with the session. Now during the session as we established, we set up what is called an initial sequence number, an ISN. That number is used so that we can track how much traffic has been sent in this connection and to make sure that we haven't lost any data. So essentially we see host A and host B talk to each other. What host A is going to do is he is going to send a TCP segment over to host B. And he is going to toggle that little sync bit inside the TCP header. Sync bit. So the little control flag there says send that is enabled and he is going to set the initial sequence number or ISN to 100. Now again that ISN value is designed to tell me how much data has been set, the number of bytes so far. So this says I am going to send a TCP segment and I am sending you 100 bytes in our case here. So host B received that, that packets, that packet travel across the network, host B receive it, host B look at it, read it, say okay, I'm, I need to do a couple of things. One I need to reply back with an ACK, so I am going to So I'm going to toggle the ACK bit in my response and I'm ACKing the original send that came from host A. I also need to synchronize my initial sequence number. So for the traffic going in my direction, remember establishes full duplex connectivity. So for this direct direction from host B to host A, I need to toggle my send control bit so that I synchronize my ISN. My ISN is going to be set to 300. I am sending 300 byte. And I am aching that I received the 100 bytes you sent me. Next I expect to see byte 101 and whatever else you send me. So now that is sent from host B to host A. So host A received the sync act from host B. It is acknowledged that it's received first 100 bytes and it is ready for byte 101 on. And it is sequence and it's sequencing 301. So host A now is going to reply back with the control act. And that is the final act in the three-way handshake. So it is always send, send, act, and act. And it is going to acknowledge that it received the first 300 byte. It is ready for 301. And it is going to send the sequence of 101. I am sending you next of data. 101 ready for 301. All right. So we go ahead and send that data. And now we have established that three-way handshake. Now again, our TCP connections are designed so that we are going to control of what is happening and normally they are going to gracefully terminate when each side is finished. And they will do that with a bit that is tog toggle that say, hey, I am finished. So here is a fin bit that it can be set and that will indicate that I am ready to terminate the session. So we establish in an organized fashion and we terminate in an organized fashion as well. So this was all from the 
TCP three-way handshake. Next, we are going to talk about introduction to UDP. So see you in next lecture.